YouTube, welcome sinners to another spicy win streaks of the week. In case you're sick of the meta, and I know I always am, here are some spicy decks to spice up your life. Everybody in the world, spice up your life. Every boy and every girl, spice up your life. Ah, bearded champ with the gimmick puppets. You thought gimmick puppets suck? Well, they do but he still managed to win, and that's why it's spicy, because look at this absolute spice. It looks like every gimmick puppet deck I've ever seen, and I'm really into it. <laughs> vampires, so I feel like Vampires came out and the new support's a little bit lackluster. However, he is using, um, this is old, but this is new, and this is new. And this is quite possibly the coolest card art I've ever seen. So if that's not a reason to play Vampires, then I don't know what is. But uh, Vampires Awakening is also new. Other than that, everything is the same as before. <laughs> but we, has a, we have a new support here as well with the Exa Beetle. And I feel like they released Exa Beetle thinking, man, we can't wait for Insectors to be good. And then everyone is like, haha, idiots. And now everyone's using Exa Beetle, so that's great. Baby Raccoons, okay, now I'm fucking interested. Baby Raccoon deck where everything looks like a baby raccoon, except for this one that looks like a preteen raccoon, and this that is not a raccoon at all, and this that is also not a raccoon, and this that is a deer. Have you ever seen a deck cuter than this? I mean, how cute does this get? This is adorable and I love it. Obedience schooled and what the, what in tarnation? Number 64 wrote daddy raccoon. So you have the baby raccoons and the daddy raccoons. This is the cutest deck I've ever seen. You should get the cute deck award where we put a little rainbow next to your name. That would be cute, right? Nightclub Fox playing Legin Resonators. So I'm so glad that this is acceptable to the spicy win streak because while Red Dragon Archfiend Resonators is on the tier list, this is so different from any of those decks that this doesn't count. This doesn't count as a tier list deck because we have Legin, the mystical genie of the lamp, and whatever this is. Target one special summon monster in either field, send it to the graveyard. If you do, special summon one level four or lower normal monster from your hand. <laughs> and creature seizure. So I think what I really think is the entire point of this deck is to destroy their monster and summon Lijin or give them the Lijin, <laughs> which is hilarious in itself. So that's really cool. Another vampire deck that looks almost identical to the previous one. TGs, TGs are still not on the tier list and they will, ooh, ooh, oh. TG Catapult Dragon. Once per turn you get special summon one level three or lower TG monster from your hand. Ooh, very cool. So TGs here looking, looking absolutely spicy with flight control, the coolest skill. I love it. Then we have Dino TG, that person was a troll. Listen, you have to prove the win streak. You can't just post whatever you want. So I believe him. I trust him with my life. In the Discord, we have uh, all of their wins and their replays, and it will say their win streak in a row. So you can't fake the win streak either, which is super cool. Yeah, DK challenged people to play Legin Resonators. <laughs> so we have Dino TGs. So this is super cool. Dino TGs here with all the Dino support cards and a couple of TG cards. And we're using Cell Set Delta Excel, which is also very cool. So this is a super, super cool deck. Oh. Ooh, I like this one. Mmm, mm, look at you, you spicy bitch. Rambo Go Guska with the Light Sworn Monarchs using Smorg of Darkness, Caius, and Erebus, the Underworld Monarch. Very, very cool. I like it. What is this? 
escalation of the monarchs. Once per turn during your opponent's maiden phase or battle phase, you can immediately after this card resolves, tribute summon one monarch. So if something is going on with your monarch, you use this, you tribute that monarch for another monarch, and now your card is safe. And you probably use Caius's effect because you're a spicy bitch. And then we have some trap monsters here for tributing. We have the, the prime monarch. We have a needle bug nest to mill. I love it. Ooh, I love it. Mm. Neo Spatians, if you needed a reason to play your overpowered Grand Mole, here it is. A complete and utter Neo Spatian deck. Convert Contact. If you control no monsters, send two Neo Spatian monsters, one from your hand and one from your deck to the graveyard, and then draw two cards. Oh, that's really good. So you're only discarding one card from your, ha your hand, and then you're getting to Foolish Burial another card, which is usually extremely useful. So this is really, really cool. And anything with Neo Spatian Aqua Dolphin is great because you get to look at Aqua Dolphin. I don't know if you know this, but he has like really tight butt cheeks. And that is the only reason to play this deck. Actual Light Sworn, and it's not even 30 cards. We have here a 20 card Light Sworn deck that is actually a uh, fire. Draw Sense Light, um, giving us after 1500, you could get a light monster, a random light monster. Two Chaos Dragon Leveneers, because we got some Chaos Hunters in here for dark monsters. We also have a Tor Bus from the Underworld. This is looking really, this is, this deck looks clean. This deck looks crisp and I love it. So that's it for the spicy report today. What is your favorite spicy deck on this list? Are you guys looking to try anything out? Is there any deck you saw and you were like, oh damn, I'm gonna play that. For me, I want to play um, the Light Sworn, the, the Monarch deck, this one, the Monarch deck, and just the straight up Light Sworn deck. I kind of like, I, I'm feeling the Light Sworn in this list. Vampires are cool, Legion Resonators are hilarious, and then Gimmick Puppets looks, it looks like everybody's building Gimmick Puppets the same IMO. So let me know in the comments down below, were you interested or not? See you next time.